All right, y'all. So let's talk about why I decided to get off of social media. Um, and I'm going to be off of social media for the entire 2024, <laughs> which is, it's like, I know I can do it. And it's so funny because God actually told me to get off of social media for the whole year last year. And I remember when he told me and I heard it and I just, I just doubted that I could do it. I'm like, there's no way I can get off social media for a whole year. I was like, I could do, I can do a couple months, but not the whole year. Um, but so I did that last year. I was off social media for quite some time last year, but it was sporadic. Like I would get off for like 30 days and I'll hop on for a day or two. Then I did Lent and then I would hop on and show something my son did or something. Um, and so that's how last year went. But this year I was like, I really want to do the whole year because I really want to find out what God had in store for me when he told me to get off of social media all of last year. So it's February 5th. I've been doing good so far. It, I mean, it's not as hard because I did practice rounds, I would call it. So I first started my first um, social media, what's it called? Social media break in 2019. I remember I did a week <laughs> in September of 2019. I really wanted to get off. I just really wanted a mental break. So I took a, a seven day break and I remember thinking like, oh, I did seven days. Like what? I remember after the first day, I was just like really, really proud of myself. And I thought I had really accomplished something at the time. That was an accomplishment. Uh, but it's funny just thinking back about how hard I thought those seven days would be. Um, but yeah, the other day I was at work and I was just kind of thinking about all the reasons I left social media and I jotted them down on my handy dandy notepad. So I'm just going to go over some of the reasons that I, I thought of, and these are in no particular order. I was just jotting them as I was thinking of them. And it's still early in the year, so I might make another one of these videos with more detail about how being off social media affects me. But for right now, I'm just going to go over my list of the reasons I decided to get off. So, um, my number, well, like I said, this is no order, but what I put first was I always wanted to know who I would be if social media wasn't a part of my life. You know, I always like admired, cause I didn't get social media until I was 12. So I did grow up like through my younger part of my childhood years without social media. And then MySpace came out or MySpace got popular around seventh grade for me and my community. So that's when I got on, but I always kind of wondered what would life have been like if I had grown all the way to my adult years and beyond without social media. So that was always in my mind but I was moving along with societies, just staying on social media, doing what I was supposed to do by having an account. So that was always in my mind. And then secondly, um, and like I just mentioned, I've been on social media since I was 12 in seventh grade and I'll be 30 this year. So that's more than half of my life at this point. So, so yeah, I've been on social media since seventh grade, since I was 12 years old. So I really just wanted to know, I really just wanted to get off and get to know myself. Like who would I be without it? Um, and I wanted to influence myself. Like, sometimes I wonder, like, if it was never for social media, what, what would I have gotten into? Like, what would I have been into? What would I have said? What would be my opinions? What would I not be afraid to say in fear of getting talked about on social media for my opinions or things like that? I always wondered that. So... Now that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm creating my own opinions. I'm influencing myself. Just trying to bring my inner creativity out. Um, my next point is that I thought it was silly to allow people who don't speak to me to watch me and to know all about my life and practically my every move and what my son does and what my house looks like and all that stuff. Like a lot of people on social media, I don't talk to them in real life. When I see them in real life, they act like they don't know me. People act like they haven't been watching you. It's just real funny acting, funny business going on on social media. And obviously outside of social media because the people are out there. But it was just weird. And I was just like, why am I giving people access to my life in that type of way when they don't support me in any type of way? Um, they just watch me, talk about me, screenshot, share but they don't do anything for my life. So why am I providing them with the energy and the information about my life? 
What else did I put? I put, it's too much comparison for sure. It's a distortion on your mind. It makes you think that everybody else has it together and you're the only person who doesn't have it together. Honestly, I feel so much better than I'm off of social media. Um, it it really made me feel bad about my, where I was in life and some of the choices I made. And ever since I've been off, for some reason, I don't have those same feelings. Like, it's social media for real. It really is. Um, inauthenticity was uh, one of my main points. I'm a very, 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 very authentic person. I pride myself on being authentic. And that's just who I am. And I just saw way too much inauthenticity on social media, especially with people I knew. It was just weird. Like, I would go out with people. And they'll be standing somewhere regular like this, like, and then they'll, somebody put the camera on them, and they'll be like, ah, ah, and then as soon as the camera's off of them, they back to this. And then they will put the next day, like, we had a time last night, we, it was a movie, and I'm like, I was there. And y'all argued the whole night, you didn't have fun, you complained the whole night, and you went home crying, but what they put on social media doesn't reflect that and it was just so inauthentic to me it was I just couldn't take it I could not take it but also can't take a lot of people in real life either so hmm. um I found myself asking myself a lot of times am I doing this for social media um and a lot of times the answer was yes and so just that alone was, was enough to make me get off what's so funny is like i actually went out last night and i i don't go out often but i went out last night with some people and i just felt like we spent a good majority of our time like we went to do a certain event i'm not calling it out because i just don't want to call it out but we went to do a certain event we paid for this event and nobody barely did the event they more so was taking pictures coming up with captions taking more pictures, asking, what what should I caption this? What should I caption this? And I'm just like, I actually came here to do this activity. I thought that's what we were going to do. And nobody was actually interested. They were more interested in like getting a picture of them doing the activity. And then that was it. So I thought that was funny. So I'm just like, that's why I'm off of social media. I see how it consumes people. Like we literally, well, I played, I played. Well, I guess we all, we all played, but It just is it's interesting to me how much energy people put into what things look like on social media versus just being in the moment. Um Yeah, I said it didn't make sense to me to keep up with it when I think it's so inauthentic. It didn't align with who I am. And that's for real. I'm just such an authentic person. Something like that just doesn't align with who I am. And that's not to say I'm never going to get on social media again because you never know how life is going to go for me and what I might need to use it for. But I definitely think that um, God asked me to take a year off. So I'm going to take the year off to see, you know, to listen and, and get everything that he's trying to teach me this year. And just as a challenge for myself to take a whole year, this is something I never thought I'd like. If you would have asked me two, three years ago, I would have never thought I'd be able to take a year away from social media. This year, when I decided to do it, it was a no brainer. Well, it was a little bit scary. It was like, do I want to commit to saying that I could take a year off? I knew I could do eight months. I knew I could do. I knew I could get close, but I was like, ooh, when it get when it get Thanksgiving and Christmas, I'm gonna want to see what's going on. But something switched inside of me, and I honestly think that I'm going to breeze through this year with no troubles, no no inklings of wanting to get online, because I know what I'm trying to do, and I know what it is. Like, I, don't, I never miss anything. Even last year when I got off for like three, four months at a time, when I would get back on, there wasn't much that I was missing. And honestly, I like to not know what's going on with other people. I think our brains are naturally supposed to function in that way. I think, you know, the way our brains are supposed to function, we're not supposed to know everything about everybody. I feel like that makes your brain cloudy. Like, like even me, I do pole fitness. If I'm watching the other girls in my gym do something with ease that I struggle with, it's going to have an effect on me. 
But just think about like the 90s and the 80s and stuff. You didn't know what people was doing that you couldn't see. So it didn't have an effect on you. And I just, I just kind of think that's how our brains are supposed to be. You're only supposed to see what, what you see when you're in that moment. If I'm not there, I'm, I don't feel like I'm supposed to see it. And that's not the, talking about like concerts and stuff. I don't know. But you know what I mean? Like, if I wasn't there, I was supposed to miss it is what I'm getting at. Like, our brains are not supposed to be completely full of so much information about other people and what other people are doing. I think, it, I think it happens so quickly, we don't realize how much information we're actually downloading, but it's a lot of information. Um, and then the last point I made is that I, I miss the feeling of actually catching up after work. Wait, I miss the feeling of actually catching up after not seeing someone for a while. So yeah, kind of tying into what I just said before, but I don't believe that you should know everything about everybody. I truly enjoy when i see somebody i haven't seen in a while and we can actually sit down and actually catch up because i actually don't know what's been going on in their life and i'm actually surprised when i'm having the conversation instead of like seeing everything and then not having much to talk about i don't think i mentioned but um uh, another big reason is to fix my attention span i think i did a lot of work last year on my attention span um because like I said, I took a lot of time off of social media last year. So I was able to watch some movies and stuff. Because before, I wasn't able to watch movies. I could barely get through a TV show. Because my attention span was so short. It was so short. So I just wanted to fix my attention span. I wanted to fix my social skills. I wanted to fix my confidence. I wanted to fix my creativity. And so many more things. I... I did jot that down, but I'm kind of just going off the dome um, and I'm going to stop there. So those are the reasons right now that I got off of social media. But if I think of something that I didn't mention that was important, I guess I'll just make another video sometime. But yeah, anybody who's with me out there, let's just wish each other luck, wish each other success on this journey. It's only the beginning, but it's already February, which means I already made it through January without without any issues so 11 more months to go y'all